Well, this is something different today. As you guys know, I often repair push mowers and post them on YouTube and I give each one a name, a lady's name. Started off with Alice. And I think the last one I did was uh, Olivia. Uh, maybe that's not right, but anyway, I think I'm up to R's now, so I'm going to call this one Rachel. And you'll notice this is not a push mower. This is a pressure washer with one of my favorite engines, a uh, pulse jet. There's the filter. You, can, you guys will probably recognize that and uh, the tank of that right here and you'll recognize that tank if you're familiar with pulse jets and what i'm doing the pump is bad on this <clears throat> and i only paid a few dollars for this pressure washer because i just really just wanted the engine uh just the fuel tank on these um, engines if you were to have to buy one it'd be 25 dollars for a new one and so i always like to I always like to have several of these tanks around. Um, so this pump is attached with, with uh, three long bolts. And those holes will coincide with the holes on the lawnmower deck. And so I've done this many times. I'm going to transfer this engine to a lawnmower and have a, a good running lawnmower. Because usually... Uh, these pressure washers, people use them for a few seasons and they put them up and, and let the let leave it outside, the pump freezes and it breaks and then they just get stuck in a corner of the garage somewhere and the engines are quite good. Um, so I've done this with several different kinds of Briggs and Stratton engines, but these, uh, I just love these old pulse jets. And so as you can see, I've already dropped the pump down and it it's only held on by three screws. Now these, these don't uh, thread into the body like as usual on a lawnmower. They, they slip in and out and then there's a nut on top. Um, and so I'm trying to recall now if, if I put a standard one in, a standard screw uh, engine mounting bolt in and thread it in or if I usually use that, the original with a maybe a spacer or something. but. I'm gonna have to come up with something on here to uh, to make this work. Um, the kill switch on this is an on-off switch, so it's there's no engine brake that's gonna be shutting it off. And there is the connection to the switch, electrical switch, which is that. So when you shut it off, you want to press that, and that's gonna. There's the little prongs that are gonna to connect to that. Uh, but I'll probably come up with something different for the for the lawnmower. Um, I pulled the cord on this and uh, put some fresh fuel in the tank, and this mower did, or excuse me, this pressure washer engine did fire up and run. So I'm optimistic that uh, everything's going to work out here. But first, I'm got to get the pump off and get the engine off and set it aside until I can find a deck for it. So let me uh, let me put my camera over here where you guys can kind of see what's going on. And this is this is how you turn a pressure washer into a lawnmower. So I've got I've got everything loose here. I'm gonna try and lift the engine up now and get it off of this. Okay. You always want to tilt the engine back to keep the oil. I removed the fuel tank because I sure didn't want a bunch of fuel leaking out everywhere. But I want the oil to go to the back. So this is the, the pump that was on this uh, was on this washer. I guess I'll say this. This is that detergent hose. But right now I'm just going to set it aside. Yeah, that looks pretty cluttered up in there, so I'm not surprised it didn't run. I couldn't get I couldn't get any pressure to come out. It just sort of dribbled out. Well, I 
right, so now we're gonna set this aside now. I'm gonna save these wheels because they're gonna be in good condition because they typically don't get a lot of wear on a pressure washer like they would on a lawnmower. Uh, so this is gonna come off the table. There's a, a free bungee cord. It's probably cold and cluttered up, but you never know, so we'll check that out later. But let's get this out of the way. So here's our, here's our engine. It's still in the picture. Yep, there's our engine. I got my, my three bolts. They were holding on the pressure washer. I'm gonna save those in case I need to use them. Um, but now I've gotta find me a deck. And uh, a concern with these, uh, anytime you do one of these, is, is what is the length of the crankshaft? Because you're gonna, you know, you can't get a real high lift mower with the, the, the had in a long crankshaft with the engine on it. You've got to find one of the older, smaller ones that had has a little more shallow. And, uh, there's the crankshaft on it. It's pretty long, so that's good. Um, it looks like it might be a big shaft, so I may have a little trouble finding the adapter that's going to fit that. Let me tilt that back and see if I can find. Oh, an adapter. Now, there's going to be a, a metal key here that it just fell out on you to see that and that's not the kind that shears that's uh i could be wrong about that but i think that's solid solid metal because on these and like it is with some mowers um i don't know i'm saying the wrong thing even with an adapter it's it's solid it's solid metal it's not the soft metal that shears so scratch what i just told you um i've got to find an adapter it's going to slide on to that crankshaft. So let me go through my supplies here and see if I've got one. And we'll do that together. I'm hoping that that is a standard size crankshaft. This is a, I got, this is a long adapter with the uh, butterfly type um, blade that's going to go on there. So let's see if this slips on very easily or not. Okay, that is the right size. So let me go ahead and clean this up a bit with some sandpaper and get the cut off so this adapter will slip on a little easier. I'll probably put a screwdriver up in that slot and poke it around, clean, clean out that slot, you know, to make it where it's going to uh, have that adapter slide on there pretty easily. I'm not necessarily going to use this long adapter. This is, as you, as you guys, most of you know, that's a little longer than most. But sometimes that works on these, and sometimes that's what you need if you've got a a pretty high, a pretty high uh, deck, you know, because you got to, you don't want your blade to be so high up in the deck that uh, it's not touching the grass very easily. You want it pretty close to the, to the edge of the deck down at the bottom. That's where you want that blade to be, not riding way up high in the in the deck. Um, let me get a screwdriver up in there. brush on there. Uh, brush on there, that should help a little. Alright, I'm going to put a drop of oil on here from the honey bear. I don't want to put a lot on there, but some. And kind of mush that around. And let's see if that slides on there. There's that notch. There's my notch. So that's going on there pretty easily. Like I said, I don't necessarily want to put that adapter on. So let me try it uh, Because I want it more sandy. Here's a real common one that uh, has a flat, flat base. And 
you'd have to have a blade that had a single hole and then use those big washers to, to firm it up. Let's see if this one slides on very easily. Too easily. I don't know why that is. Maybe too much crud up in there. Well, there we go. Yeah, see, that's. See, that might work on a uh, on a shallow deck. And then the old ones, some of those decks, you know, instead of being three, four inches tall, some of them are like two or three inches. And, uh, and that would work on there. Get some of this crud on. Here's one you'll find a lot of you're used to. This is the butterfly uh, blade that is so common, but it's gonna, it's not gonna hang down as much. It's gonna hang down a little bit more than this one. Based on the amount of metal, it's it's uh, it's up in the the vacant part of this. So let me see how this slides on. Yeah, that, that could be my, my adapter right there. Okay, so you know where I'm going with this. I'm gonna have to try and find a deck here pretty soon. And uh, stay tuned. And feel free to ask any questions you want. And we're going to get uh, Rachel, I think is what we said. We're going to turn her, turn her into a lawnmower.